Guys, I want to say a massive welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I do want to apologize for the fairly abrupt um, end to the last episode. Hope you guys are still up for this series. Let's keep going. Let's save Ashley and let's get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> I don't like this place anymore. I'm done with this place. I was hoping to get this whole mission done in this video, but... It just kept going. <laughs> it was like almost like three missions in one. It was mad. There is Krogan Galore here. Right, you guys are Monster not in a great shield. place right now. Garrus, over there. Rex, stay here. I need you guys oh, alive and well, please. They were just like standing there, weren't they? Not a good idea. Is that Krogan dead? No. Can confirm that is not true. Oh. Uh, let's use assassination. I always miss when I. Whoa, what was that? Someone just wiped my shields. And the assassination thing's gone. Great. <laughs> Ooh, you felt that. You felt that. Don't care who you are. You felt that. Ha <laughs> ha! The Geth and the Krogan have teamed up. Not a fan, not a fan. Sit down, Krogan. I'm not done with you yet. Uh, will you join in boost? Not in my line of sight. <laughs> Got a move for X, mate. Move there. <laughs> oh, he's charging. Throw him. Throw him away. Uh, throw. <laughs> Don't think they really done much. I really saved them, actually. Oh, that was a warlord. Krogan warlord. Whew. You guys good? Let's go. Let's go and save Ashley. If we can leave this planet with our crew intact, that is a thumbs up. Thumbs up indeed. Where now? I'm trying to head to the AA guns. I hope we're going the right way. Uh oh. Geth are sending in reinforcements. Heads up, LT. We just spotted a troop ship headed to your location. It's already here. There's Geth pouring out all over the bomb site. Hold on, Lieutenant. I'm coming back to get you. Negative. There's just too many of them. I don't think we can hold them off. I'm activating the bomb. What? What, what do you mean? What the hell are you doing, Alenko? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. Guys. Oh no, I forgot about this. Uh, we can li only need the planet with one. Caden or Ashley. Ooh. Oh no. Ugh. Um. I don't know. I always go with Ashley. I'm so tempted to change. I don't know why, though. I feel like we've obviously with Liara. Uh, we've gone with Liara as a romance. With Ashley, it's a little bit tense. And I never save Caden. I don't know why I'm doing this. No, don't do it, Scott. Um. Uh... No, I'm going to stick with Ashley. I'm sticking with Ashley. All right. Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA tower. Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. Of course it was. Fight hard, Lieutenant. Die proud. Aye, aye, Commander. Oh. My. God. Caden is... What is up with this mission? It's gone horrifically wrong. We could have lost Rex already, by the way. 
Uh, this is not going well. I completely forgot about that bit. I don't know why I forgot. Yep, you can only save one of them. Um, we haven't really spoken to Caden too much, and that's sort of partly why I've just gone with Ashley. Um, despite the fact that I was tempted to change up a little bit. Can't hold them off here much longer. Watch the corner. Suppressing fire. Ashley's in big trouble. Gee, chill, man. Chill down. What the? Uh, throw, throw, throw. Yes. Goodbye, destroyer. Garrus, get back up. We need you. Show unity. Oh, look, it's Sauron. Go on, Shepard. This has been an impressive diversion, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. You don't fool me. This isn't complicated. You'll do anything to get power. Even joining with the Reapers. You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, but what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? I won't be a slave, you idiot. I'd rather die than live under the rule of those machines. Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. <laughs> Mate, you're just a puppet. You're like every other poor bastard in this place. A tool Sovereign can use, then cast aside. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. You are honestly a coward. It's already happened. It, it's happened already. You're already an absolute puppet, you fool. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Ooh. Join me? Why would he possibly join me? Pretty sure that's not possible. Hmm. I'll ask. Screw it. Together we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. You were a specter. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. 
I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Oh my. I didn't know we went against Sauron right now. Oh, this is bad. This is very, very bad. Oh, where are you guys hanging out? Rex, man, you gotta stay there. You gotta stay in cover. In room. Oh, damn, Rex is down. They're getting a little bit confused about where to go. Rex, you back up. Let's get over here. Okay, you can stay there. Fine. It's getting whoa! It's getting hot in here. Take off all your clothes, Sauron. <laughs> that is doing damage. That is doing damage. Go hold them off, guys. Hold them off. Shield down. Oh shoot! And what's happened to my weapons? I can't fire. Whoa! I've been stunned. No! Shepard, get up! <laughs> what was he distracted by? It? Fire, Shepard! Why is he hesitating? Shepard, you handsome devil. Okay, then I'm so sorry. What a boss. What a man. What a soldier. I reckon I could have saved Alright, everybody, way. hang on! I feel like Caden has died so many times. I, I oh. can't believe Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? He was a good soldier. Alenko knew the risks going in. He gave his life to save the rest of us. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. It wasn't your call, Williams. I had to choose. I chose you. I'm... I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But it should have been me. Alenko was a superior officer. I would have gladly stayed behind. We have to go on. We will avenge him. Get it together, soldier. <laughs> Caden's blood is on Saren's hands. It is. And when we find that son of a bitch, I'll make him pay. Yes, sir. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. Correct. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. Let's do it. You Sounds want to like join our minds again, don't you? Okay. You love doing that, don't you? <laughs> Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. That's freaked me out when she does that. Is that life being sort of whacked out? Still don't quite make sense of it. It looks like the galaxy is being destroyed. That's what it looks like. Incredible. I... I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. 
a warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. Huh. <laughs> I don't care. We're going anyway. The conduit's on Ilos, and that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh, oh I am sorry. Gone. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. <laughs> it didn't... I could say that again. Didn't tire me out. I feel good. Go ahead. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a combo nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Um, yep, do it. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. We Commander may need to Shepard, warn the Council I'm pleased and to get see your help. mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. Yeah, we've got bigger issues right now. The Krogan would have served Sovereign. A Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. You have to believe me. Please don't start having doubts, please. Sovereign's a reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports, the ones talking about your vision and the reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. <sighs> oh, looks like we lost the signal, Joker. Understood, Commander. I'm I'm not I, I'm not I, I'm not dealing with that absolute cancel BS right now. What a bunch of nonsense. Why won't they just believe us? <laughs> I hope that wasn't a mistake. Um, yeah, let's go and see if the R is okay. After that last vision. Check up on her. Check up on Ashley. Check up on Rex. Oh no! He's not there! That's where he stands. Caden, I'm sorry. Ashley's just hot on the new. <laughs> That's pretty much the reason. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. I feel like I've heard this Dr. before. This conversation. Dr. knows what she's doing. Feels I've familiar. been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's become a slave to the Reapers and he can't even see it. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? I don't know, actually. Um, bit of both, potentially? I guess we we'll never know, really, will we? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. Agree. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I think that might be it for I now. should go. Goodbye, Shepard. There will be more romance with Liara later on. Uh, don't worry about that. Just takes a little bit. Considering how fast it was at the beginning, it does slow down a little bit now. Settles down a little bit. This is my personal office, I believe. Yes. Uh, let's go and check on Ashley and the rest of the crew. 
This might be a slightly shorter episode, but of course the next one's going to be a, a mammoth one. And I'm excited to see where it goes. Ooh. We have the Solarians on here. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. Still, I find the loss of Captain Kirahi troubling. But I won't blame you. I know you lost one of your own as well. I'm sorry for your loss. Captain Kirahi will be missed. But many others will live because he gave his life. That is our lot, I suppose. But there may come a day when so many have been sacrificed, it will be impossible to tell who won. The mission was a success. That will have to be enough. We won't trouble you for long. Our unit will be disbanded as soon as we depart. Good luck, Commander Shepard. Captain Kira, he Do you was a say anything? Hmm. You sacrificed much, John Vermeer. We have a kinship of loss. We do. Rex, you good? Commander. Things got heated back on Vermeer. It did a bit. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. So long, Rex. Love Rex. Love Rex. <laughs> He's an important character that continues now until Mass Effect 3. Massive character Commander? for us. About Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. It's 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 not your fault. It's Williams, fine. listen to me. I'm in command of this mission. I made the call, not you. He's dead because of me. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me... Um... If you don't mind my asking... How did you deal with the losses on Akuz? Um... I grieved. I did grieve. I didn't stop and agonize over it while everyone else was in danger. We've got work to do, Williams. We'll remember him later. Yeah. A good guy like him must be with God now, huh? So, nothing to be sad about. He must be happier. Thanks for the advice, Skipper. Dismiss, Chief. Sir. I think we iron that out. I, I don't believe there is any potential for Ashley and Shepard to get on again, if that makes sense. Um, haven't spoken to Tali much, have we? This is the main sort of um, core of the Normandy. It's quite a piece of engineering. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. There I've we go. I've never <laughs> seen a drive core like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. Yep, I'm starting to ship. understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. It's a special one. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I didn't bring you along to admire my ship. I know why I'm here. I'll do whatever I can to help you stop Saren and drive his Geth armies back beyond the Veil. Vale. Good. I should go. So we like to hear. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Yes. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. We're going back to the Council. Okay, let's go. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Yes, we have the reinforcements we need. We're going to go to Ilios and kick ass. Oh, I still can't go over seeing that ship every time. Oh, la la la. la. <laughs> Why can't the ships look like that? Why not? Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. Good. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. 
Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. Uh, what about Ilios? How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mu relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. It's definitely not over. Send me after him. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. You really don't have it under control. <sighs> if Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. You son of a bitch. Nobody stabs me in the back, Odina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. What an ass! He's grounded us! Commander. Shepard. I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. Uh, this is why I don't like politicians. There are bigger issues. I don't care if they ground me, but they refuse to go after Saren. If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? No, just give me some time. I'll think of something. I just need some time. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Oh. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. God, that was terrible timing. What did he want? <sighs> Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. You should probably go meet with him. God damn. <laughs> that was the worst timing. Ah, uh, Why? Uh, Tali? And... Liara? Yeah. Mass me squad. Um, yeah, that was shocking time in Joker. Equalizing interior pressure what a with Joker. exterior atmosphere. <laughs> Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Right, guys, we are going to pause it here. We are back at the Citadel. We are grounded for now. We need to be undocked. And we need to go to Ilos as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on this episode. And bye-bye.